This is question number 24 of the 2015 KCSE Math Paper 1. It says, the gradient of the curve y equals 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus px minus 1 at x is equal to 4 is 36. So part A um, is made up of two further parts. Part 1 of part A says, find the value of p. And part 2 of part A says, the equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equal to 0.5 so we have to find the equation of the tangent in part 2 and in part 1 we have to find the value of p so this is p here so let's start with part 1 finding p so since we're told well the gradient um, of the curve at x is equal to 36 um, when we're given a, the term gradient and also the equation of a curve we know that we have to differentiate so the first derivative is going to give us the gradient so that would be dy by dx so remember when we differentiate we decrease the exponent by 1 and we multiply that old exponent by the coefficient in front of the x term so 2x cubed becomes 2 times by 3 that's 6x squared so we get 6x squared 6x squared and minus 9x squared becomes minus 9 times by 2, that's minus 18. x squared divided by an x, so decreased by 1, uh, the exponent by 1, that's just x. px becomes simply p, because when we divide x by, by x, we get 1, and then we lose that minus 1 term altogether. So we have three terms here for dy by dx, and we're told that this here, when x is equal to 4, is 36. So we have, so what we have to do now is equate the uh, expression here to 36 and substitute x for 4. So we get 36 is equal to 6 multiplied by 4 squared minus 18 multiplied by 4 plus p. And from this equation here we can solve for p. So we're looking to find this term here. So I'm going to write this over here. So 36 is equal to 6 multiplied by 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. 16 times by 6 is uh, 96 minus 18 times by 4 which is minus 72 plus p. I would say um, if you don't know what 18 times by 4 is or 6 times by 4 squared is off the top of your head, always use a calculator. This is a calculator paper, so feel free to use a calculator to help you so you don't make mistakes and lose marks. So we have 36 is equal to 96 minus 72 plus p. Um, we can uh, simplify this here and then whatever we get here we're going to move it to the other side so we can isolate p. So 96 minus 72 is equal to 24 so 24 plus p is equal to 36. Let's subtract 24 from both sides we get 36 minus 24 is equal to p. 36 minus 24 is 12, so p is equal to 12. So the answer to the first part, 24a part 1, is p is equal to 12.